Have you ever watched your child sorting or lining up toys while they play? Well, you are not alone, and there is a great chance that they might be forming the early concept of order through visual discrimination. In the Montessori classroom, we help children develop these concepts through the use of materials in the sensorial area of the classroom. This week, we are taking a look at the knob cylinders. This activity consists of four large wooden blocks. Each block has 10 knob cylinders that vary in dimension. Most children are drawn to this work because of its size and weight. Each block is a challenge for the child to carry the work all the way to the table without dropping it, and discovering their ability to do this intrigues them to explore the next step in the activity. Children are shown how to remove each cylinder using their dominant hand and three-finger grip, starting from the left, which is the biggest cylinder. The children will line them up in front of the block and then replace the cylinders into the socket from left to right. This repetitive motion creates order and refines hand-eye coordination. The child will check their work, seeing that the cylinders fit properly into each socket. If it is not smooth on the top, the child can try again until the surface is even. The knob cylinders introduce your child to concepts like proportion, volume, diameter, depth, height, and length. And you wouldn't know it just by looking at this interesting block of wood, but your child is actually indirectly absorbing the concept of writing and reading just by using their three finger grip and left to right order of this activity. I'm Jessica Gabriel, and thanks for joining us at the School of Montessori, and we'll see you next week.